Hey guys, it's the Hack Infection. <laughs> uh, this game holds an all too strong connection with me. Um, it's the first in a four part kind of game series. There's also more that come after it, but these are the main four. Um, it's basically a game about an MMO, but it's not an MMO, but it's Oh, it's just it's awesome. <laughs> I've always wanted a multi massively multiplayer online role-playing game MMORPG uh, Like this and they actually did release one over the Far East, you know over in like the Asian continent <laughs> um, But then they shut it down from I don't know if it was lack of Interest or what but oh my gosh the game would have been amazing and I'm hoping you guys will see why once we get into this um, yeah, so it's gonna be a little cinematic here. So I'll shut up. The man des Schattens. Auf der Suche nach dem Abedrachen ist noch nicht zurückgekommen. Der Herd der Finsternis grollt. Helba, Königin der Finsternis, stellt schließlich ein Heer auf. Alparon, König des Lichts, grüßt sie. Und sie treffen sich am Fuße des Regenbogens. Die verfluchte Welle muss gemeinsam bekämpft werden. Der See von Alba brodelt. Der große Baum des Lichts fällt. Alle Macht zerfällt zu Tropfen im Tempel von Arche Köln. Wesen ohne Schatten, ihre Welt zerfällt zu nichts. Der Mann des Schattens auf der Suche nach dem Abenddrachen kehrt niemals mehr zurück. Okay, <laughs> user registration is done. Now for a name. All right, so we can give him a name. Yasuhiko's probably already there waiting for me. I'd better hurry. Registration process for the world has finished. Reconfirming your name and character name. So we can give him any name we want. Um, I'm gonna leave his character name Kite because I mean that's his name. So we can just throw this in. Basically, it does it for like uh, file saving reasonings, I think. Um, I'll give it my short name since I don't want to type out all the other one. <laughs> and kite. Proceed register. Yes. Registration proof. Insert the games like the world in your stuff. Please enjoy the world. And this is why it's like an MMO. It's basically like your desktop, but it's like an intense desktop with very few icons. <laughs> um, there's a mailer, there's news. Random other things you can like change, like you can preview oh, music, um, there's data and accessory, you can change like colors and all that fun stuff. But there's three emails we should read. Uh, the system of the world has been updated to version 2.75 for this update. The following elements have been added. Monster tolerances. For a group of monsters, certain physical magical attacks will be will cause zero damage because of their ma defense mechanisms. Elemental hit. Attack with elemental skills that are opposite the monster's attribute and it will result in two times the damage. Treasure chests. Treasure chest items. You may obtain different items depending on the type of treasure chests. Many items are now available from the god statue. For more details, please see the version update information listed on the board. CC Corporation, thank you for registering this notification email to complete blah 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 blah. It teaches you how to activate the gates. The son of the goddess. There are waterways throughout the town. The sounds and the scenery. Yeah, so. These are the main towns. We're only really going to see one in this game, I believe. So we don't have to worry about much of that. Hey, did you finish registering? What kind of character are you? Oh, uh, like I said at school. You regret it if you use a smart-ass name. I'm Orca in the world, so keep in mind. Don't call me by my real name. You can be a different person when you're there. Well, more like a guy you want to be. Anyway, I'll be at the root town. So there's that. You can also look up the news. Uh, there's, sometimes there's just random stuff like real time transportation control system. And in blah 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 trial period today, it's just talking about random stuff. Uh, 
It's questionable whether criminals will follow the traffic laws. <laughs> World's top 20 million. Uh, sales of the online role-playing game, The World, TC Corporation, December 2007. They 20 million copies worldwide. The game's first online. It's an online game release since the Twilight of the New Gods incident. It sold 10 million copies in its first six months and has steadily grown in sales various grades. Yeah, so it's just going over about the, the, the world. The Neuro Goggle, which is what they use to play this game, which looked fantastic. I wish it would have been real. Sones announced that it will soon sell a new head-mounted video display, the Neuro Goggle FMD. It's customized for a popular CC Corporation game. The world's retail price has not been set. Look at this thing. It's just... Oh, it's pretty. You just put it on, there's little screens in the front, and then it has the headphones. It's all wireless. And, oh. The sound recognition device has evolved near perfection in less than 0.5% error rate. Switch to the chat mode. They recognize the pauses by the speaker, translate them as dot dot dot. The day may come when the keyboards are obsolete. <laughs> That's funny. When you don't talk, you scoop. The World Network Council, WNC. WNC announced today the market penetration. Uh, penetration. <laughs> the Network OS Ultimate has reached almost 100,000. Where did they get 100,000? Holy crap, 100%. I don't know. Around the globe. This means that all, all network computer terminals and home systems are now compatible with Ultimate. Pluto's kiss, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And that's not even the worst part. When you get into the game, throughout the game, there's a board, a forum board, that you can go through and read. Uh, so we can read through these, and I mean, there's a lot of them. And two points have I'll explain each element detail. Elemental tolerance is just saying you attack fire with ice, it's good. <laughs> Physical tolerance, uh, certain things are good with magic, so you don't want to hit them. Magic tolerance, same thing with magic set of armor. Canceling tolerance. Cancel earth tolerance, decreasing monsters' earth element status by using dark cons or stone bane. Canceling water elements, okay. So, these are all just things we will learn throughout the game. I mean, you won't have to be... A it's not like you're attacking things like World of Warcraft when people are using their own skill against other people's skill and now you're fighting the whole enemies. <laughs> Based on a few years, we've upgraded the item treasure boxes, so it's just saying you can get things. Um, what do symbols do? Um, if you touch them, there's a special effect on you. Healing, increasing strength, etc. So there's certain symbols you can get and they kind of give you upgrades. Straw Millionaire! So they're in Cat's Blades, they're enough trading several times with Legendary Megidowat. Never thought I'd be able to get that good. Yeah, so basically it's things like you trade. Um, you can trade things with people and so forth. Uh, we... Uh, we'll read these when we have to. They're too strong. Enemies are strong in the single area I've been in. And it just tells you that keywords will change um, certain strengths of the... Uh, he's one of like the high-end guys that you aren't ever going to beat. Anyway, we'll skip all those for now. We'll just go into the game. Macanu. It's the root town, as they call it. And this is our character. Hey, you made it. Uh. Hey, it's me, Orca, the Blade Master. Wow! You look so different from the real Yasuhiko. Nothing like the real you. So we just read an email from him saying, Don't use my real name. And the third thing we say, <laughs> Hey, in this game I'm Orca. Regardless of what I am in reality, I'm pretty well known here. What? No, you look great. <laughs> anyway, take this. Orca's member address. Member address is the flash mail address you can only access in the world. With flash mail, you can exchange messages with others in real time, as long as you are in the world. It's mostly used by newbies to contact other players to form a party. Try it out by inviting me to join your party. First, press the triangle button to open the menu. So apparently when you're not a noob, you kind of don't In the a menu, party. select party. Next, names of... So you just go, you click and you want them. Since you just started, you probably only have my member address. 
Yes. Make fun of me for starting now, three seconds press ago. press the X button twice <laughs> to send a flash mail to me. Ah, got it. Join my party. It's kind of weird mailing each other when we're face to face. See? My name appears under your screen. That means... By the way, flash mail is only available when you're in a town. Pause. A town. Oh, and you can't contact people when they're not logged into the world. People do have a life, you know. We're not online 24-7. If only he knew. I mean, I'm not online 24-7. I would like to. In other words, you can't always count on the same members to form a party. So, try to get as many member addresses as you can. You'll have more fun that way. Well, how you play is up to you. But since EXP and stuff isn't divided among party members, you really don't benefit if you go solo. Okay. Well, why don't we head off? There's nothing. I skipped. Sorry about that. This is the Chaos Gate, a sort of transfer device right, that I think takes I'm us from one place since I to another. About it anyway. uh, it's Ken's Chaos Gate. We just use keywords. So uh, you get three keywords and start the, using it. You put the three selected keywords crap, one by sure. one for each part. A. Eh? Three keywords will give you something, and you build a place, lap. and it tells you your elements, the strengths, and such. You can do random words, which is the cool thing. So you can actually go and level yourself, um, which I'll probably be doing off screen. But there are a few that you actually have to go to for the game, and those are definitely ones that I'm going to be showing. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be leveling off screen because there's a lot of grinding. Not even really grinding, it's just like farming. Before we get going, let me explain to you. And now he tells us about camera control, which is just... Oh. Come on, skills, blah, 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 blah. First, now he tells us to rotate, rotate the camera. Okay, Push rotating. either the L1 button or the R1 button to move. Shush, okay. Good. Now we can zoom you the can note. zoom the camera in or out by using the right analog stick. Try it. I'm doing it right now. Yeah. There you go. Finally, you reset the camera by push. There you go. All right. So we can always change to keep the whatever okay. camera when the things fights. When you want. He's gonna be using. For example, in a second. So. No. Now. Yeah. Yeah. So the red arrow on the little map on your right there—that's the dungeon. On the left is a cool little fountain thing. If you use the fairy's orb, all the little yep. orb thing shows up. When you run into those orbs, it initiates a battle. So. A battle. Yes, I know we attack. Okay. HP. Attack. And you just basically for this part you spam it. Yay. Thanks for helping Arkham. <laughs> Used. Alright. Press so. the triangle button. Okay then. And we use Rept. He wants us to heal ourselves after we weren't damaged at all. Use you. You can talk. And then we can also have him heal us. What? If we press okay. track commands with the triangle. Okay. Next. That's him. And you picky, you just told me to <laughs> Well, it's good to be the buff. If you use it well, you can bunch up on the enemy. When uh, so basically when you we just do that. Now we'll run over here and I'll show you guys some stuff. Watch we'll fight, watch we hit him once and then Orca takes him out. You don't have to stay by him, they don't really drop anything. That they'll drop through your chest sometimes, but so this thing you run up to it, you can this investigate. This has a strange feel. Maybe I should throw in a weapon or a piece of armor. Yeah, so if we throw something in it, it can either go up or down depending on the weather. Rainy weather is sometimes bad. It's, it it kind of depends. Um, but we don't have any right now, so we'll just fight these guys. I'll show you how the fighting kind of goes. It's nothing really special. I mean, especially with how fast you just hit. <laughs> Work these things, right? You'll use those later, but when you see them, it's, it's never bad to pick them up, so. Especially if you're getting one right off the beginning. Whoa, going the wrong way. I hate the map, I hate the map. <laughs> Looks cool. I'm going. What, what are you, we're just gonna walk. But yes, I've always wished a game would be like this for an MMO. It's just, it seems intense to have such an open world and. I don't know, it just seems fun. <laughs> it's not better than go here, go here. It's just open. Now we can start exploring the dungeon. One thing you need to remember is that you can't gate out 
when you're in a so we can't leave when we're in a dungeon unless you use a sprite ocarina which when you use a sprite ocarina you go to the very first level or I don't know, you might even just go out um the brown treasure chests you just open up the blue treasure chests they're trapped so you have to use a fortune wire on them and man do you go through a lot of fortune wires because they like to just throw random trapped chests at you for some stupid reason they're not even worth anything so we just go on through the door now this is what a dungeon's like it's gonna be a whole bunch of doors or cutscenes What the? Did you just see that? Yeah. Was that thing chasing her? Yeah, but... Something like that on this level? <laughs> yes. I did see that, you know, because it was right in front of me. <laughs> Alright, I don't think I have any really items I want to use, so we're just gonna go running through... Um, ah! Other buttons to adjust my camera. The other one's way too bouncy. It's a dead end. The girl. So it's a dead end. Look at this. We get a speed charm. So let's come through here now. Oh, oh. Don't do that to me. Oh, no. Oh, I thought there was a way to shrink the screen. It's huge. So we can get rid of it or have it there. So let's push the select button. If you're playing. I mean, I'm sure you know you're not supposed to hitting the buttons while you're playing too. <laughs> Better watch out! We're trapped in here! Oh, I didn't In know the that. dungeon, there are rooms with traps everywhere. The only way to get out of a trap like this is by activating all the magic portals. Alright, let's charge to that magic portal! So you can get trapped in rooms, and the other thing is like, on the map you see there's the yellow dot, so... Um, oh, thanks, that was really... I have no idea what to do after I got ran right past by the incredibly strong bad guy, right? You can also talk to your guys. When you um, want me to do something, you check my hands. You can chat, or call, blah blah blah. Um, there was other ways you could give them equipment and stuff. I don't, I don't remember, but let's just head straight now. And going straight again. This is the room where the statue is. There's only one of them at the dungeon's deepest level. That's enough adventure for now. Let's grab the treasure. If we had a Sprite Oak Arena, we could warp out of here. But we don't have one. So we gotta go back the way we just came. That was a little bit of foresight there. Just, uh, yeah. So these things are awesome too, because you get, you get weapons and rainbow cards and stuff. Um, which, like, in a real RPG, that'd just be quite amazing because... <laughs> and over there you see on the right, those are our skills. We lose Saber Dance and we gain Tiger Claws. So when you change weapons, you can lose and gain things. Um, so if you're like a certain attack, you might want to not change your weapon unless you find one that has it with it or such. Yeah. Or was the rumor true? Take this. Huh? Please take this. There's no time. Please. What's this? A great force. The power it holds can bring forth either salvation or destruction at the whim of the user. You're... It's coming. Psychedelic man. <laughs> Sorry. Run. It'll kill you. What the hell? What is this? Something works. Nothing works.
wasn't supposed to be this way. I'm sorry. Get out of here! Did we just absorb a book? I wish I could read like that. <laughs> what was wrong with Yasuhiko? Why was he upset? I wanted to ask him, but he wouldn't even pick up the phone. And then? The next day, I found out that Yasuhiko had been hospitalized. I rushed to the hospital, but they wouldn't even let me see him. But I guess it's better this way. I didn't want to see him all week, and he wouldn't want that either. But what the hell happened to him? I have a feeling that the key to it is somewhere in the world. Dun -dun. New mail. Server problems. To all users, the world we apologize and convenience due to the problems with our service. Currently, we are focusing on our efforts to find the cause of the problem. However, in order to proceed efficiently, we will limit all to play to only the servers. Delta, beta, delta, 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 uh, those two, delta and circle. <laughs> oh, I wish I knew my German letter, not German, oh gosh, uh, Greek, Greek letters. Alright you guys, well I believe that will be it for part number one. I will see you guys next time.